Carroll County Jail continues to be a point of contention among county leaders. News 18's Meredith Hackler spoke with the Carroll County Sheriff, who says the longer it takes the county commissioners and county council to agree, the longer taxpayer dollars will be leaving the county. Carroll County is in desperate need of a new jail. Our maximum capacity here at Carroll County in our current facility is 34. We we are we're, we're still above that. Uh, you know, this morning when I checked, uh, we were at 36. Since the jail is over capacity, the sheriff's office has to move inmates to other facilities outside of the county, in turn sending taxpayer dollars to other counties. It's costing roughly $10,000 a month for us to uh, have individuals held in uh, Warren and White counties. While both the Carroll County Council and County Commissioners agree, they're in need of a new jail. Both the Council and the Commissioners are passionate and agree that we need a new jail. What the two county entities can't agree on is how the jail will be funded, as well as a type of construction contract both groups of leaders would like to see. The Commissioners entered into a contract with a company out of Fort Wayne, Construction Control Incorporated. Um, that wrote up a contract uh, as a construction manager, um, as advisor. Radcliffe says that type of contract puts all of the responsibility of the jail project on the county and that there's no guarantee the construction company will stay within the parameters of the budget the county has allotted. That's where we're struggling, is the difference in delivery method and also what we feel is not a fair um, uh, a fair contract. As the two entities debate over which contract is most suitable, the jail continues to be overcrowded, in turn continuing to send taxpayer dollars elsewhere. The aspect I look at is that's money going out of this county. In Carroll County, Meredith Hackler, News 18. Well, we reached out to members of the Carroll County Commissioners for comment but didn't receive a response until the two entities come to an agreement on a construction contract for the 14 to 15 million dollar jail project. A groundbreaking date won't be set.